And there it goes. Now oh, it's awesome. recording. Awesome. Um, everybody, welcome to the podcast. I am here with, if I remember right, Janelle. Yes. Uh, hi. Thank you. Would for you like to do me. your own little introduction, just to make sure oh. everybody knows? Yeah, I am the screamer slash um, bass player of a five-piece metal band called Concrete. Yeah. And this yeah. would be the one guest yeah, to, they get it. Yeah. Uh, this would be the one guest to actually make me a bit starstruck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm not. I'm no why I'm not. <laughs> I've got literally every piece of music you guys have done downloaded on my Apple iTunes. Oh, badass. Thank you. I'm not that the biggest well. fan of Billie Eilish, but I still downloaded your cover of Bad Guy. Thank you. Thanks for the exception. <laughs> but, um, um, let's see. I guess my first question is going to be out of Everybody in the band, how many are actually still veterans, so to speak? Are still, what was that? Veterans, kind of like the ones that were there since the beginning. Like the OG ones, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say, like, Kristen is really the, the founder of, of Concord, so... She is definitely the OG. Um, yeah, because it was probably like add on later than like we, we found Izzy separately, Kia separately, and then they found me. And then as that was happening, people would cycle out. So it's just been kind of like a, you know, adding a normal band thing. Adding, yeah. And then uh, then we just added Sam. So I think the lineup is solidified now. So that's good. So yeah, I would say Kristen. She's the, the OG member. She's I'd the boss the, lady. The only band I've seen that still has all of its original members would probably be Skillet. That's the only band I've seen that's not really changed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think every band, even if it's something minor like changing your drummer, I feel like every every single band. Or like, like yeah. yeah. Uh, he every can't band. kick his wife out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a very awkward, awkward, time, awkward moment. Um. So, do you do you know if you guys have a whole album planned, or just a couple um, of singles for right now to ease out of hiatus? We have like, I would say, an album maybe, um, and then we still just got to finish the the last half. But there is a just one or two songs but definitely not enough for like but that's just now that'll change hopefully you guys drop a really good single then drop off the earth into another hiatus <laughs> oh my gosh i think our fans would literally just i would pull my hair out individually yeah it would be so bad no we wouldn't we're not leaving we're not leaving again we promise we'll get more air um, I will say that you guys probably do a lot better than a lot of male metalcore based bands. Thank you. Especially in the screaming section. I've heard some some guys that are like 32 and still sound prepubescent. Yeah, that's just that's just technique right there. They just need a little they need a little bit of a push, you know. <laughs> Um, how did you learn how to do your screaming? Because I know uh, Caleb from Beartooth, he had a teacher that helped him. Yeah. Um, I, I started screaming when I was like 13 or 14, and it was definitely not the proper way of screaming because it would hurt my throat. And uh, I did that for like a few years because I was so young. And then actually right before the band hit me up, I kind of, um, like, you know, months beforehand, because they, they hit me up at the end of December 
2014 I started screaming like the beginning of that year and that's when I taught myself the whole like I guess what I'm doing now so I just kind of did it I was so sick of how my old scream sounded and I just kind of like adjusted did it. Yeah. I just adjusted you know where it was coming from who has like the zen of screaming I used a couple of her techniques and um yeah, it just kind of happened. It, it was like an evolution. It went from real crappy to like still kind of crappy to like with the times to now. Yeah. I would say that a really good place that I've found to go to get any sort of information would be either YouTube or TikTok. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, YouTube. I'm actually take, teaching vocal lessons now here in my city. And I'm learning so much from YouTube <laughs> on how to teach people. Like, it's it's a great tool. I love YouTube. I mean, you got to have your side gig while everything's in chaos. Exactly. And I'm not, you know, trying to go serve tables during a pandemic right now. That's what I, that's what I was doing prior. But trying to do the vocal lesson vibe. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Because I'm kind of doing these questions on the fly. Because I don't really... I don't like research. No, oh, you're fine. <laughs> but, um... How did you guys do the uh, video? Did they, like... For chemicals, did they make you guys, like... You gotta have a mask on. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. Or did you guys just kind of been like, we're doing our own thing? Yeah, so we actually filmed chemicals. It was honestly the the best timing because we filled we filmed chemicals um in february of this year uh. <laughs> i remember i mean michigan we were just kind of in Kristen's house the whole time so it's not like we were like going out and doing things because i think we were like all a little like heard a little bit about covid around that time so we were like, oh, man, that's scary, but, you know, we're fine. So that's why we, like, continued on with the whole video. And then we all get home, and two weeks later, like, shut down. So we, we got... Well, Just before. We it could have been horrible. Yeah, literally. We, it would have been so bad if we would have done it in March. We had to cancel because we had to fly in our director from... So that would have been so hor- horrific. We would definitely not be here if if that video would have been pushed back. Whew. Thank God it did. I see the um, a lot of bands come in like their members are from everywhere around, like around the country and stuff. What's it like having to communicate with each other? And you're in like Texas, and then the other members wherever. I guess I heard you say Michigan. Yeah, so like home base for Conquer Divide is Michigan because is our well, like the band started. And then um yeah, I'm in Texas. He is in Colorado. She's from so um it's great. Yeah, we're definitely all over the place. We definitely have like a group chat. That's that thing is very useful for all of us to just communicate. But it's fun. I like I like the traveling aspect of it. You know, like, you know, before Conquer Divide, I obviously was in bands here, which is totally a different vibe. But there's something about like traveling to Michigan that makes it like more fun, I guess. So I I really enjoy it. I think the girls do too. We we all kind of stumbling and traveling part. So I mean, it gives you a great excuse to see the rest of the country. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, like I basically know Michigan really well now. <laughs> because of that. Going there all the time. And not like, you know, the whole state. I don't know where Artery is based, but I'm assuming it might be another one of the companies that are over in the West Coast, I guess. Um, I think that's where they were. Um, 
Yeah, they, they, I know when we were assigned to them, we went to their office, and I think it was in San Francisco. That was fun. Yeah, what's it like having to work with a record label when you can't actually go and talk to everybody? But I don't know if you guys have to go and talk to them anyway. Yeah, well, we're actually not currently signed by them anymore. Uh, they got bought out by Warner Brothers and like dropped behind them. So we're currently independent, but it was pretty cool. They they helped us with a bunch of cool tours, 2015 and 16. That really were so fun. Um, so I mean, it was a great experience. But yeah, right now we're we're very independent. We're kind of shopping though for for some help. But um, we're yeah, doing Yeah, Warner Brother stuff. doesn't have the best track record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I mean, how they had the money to get artery, I don't know how. Yeah, and they got all of artery and made them like drop all their bands. So I don't, I don't know. I guess business things I will never understand. That would explain why uh, the other band I wanted to talk to didn't make a record label here or a record here lately. <laughs> yeah. Their last yeah. one was published independently, and it was completely in Russian. <laughs> oh. Russian. Very nice. They make um, some great music over there. They do. Mm-hmm. They've produced some pretty good metal bands. Yeah. I follow this one girl on YouTube, and she's just brutal. She's great. I don't know how to say her name, but she's cool. <laughs> um... I don't know if you've heard of them. The band's called Wild Ways. Oh yeah, yeah, they were, yeah, they were also signed to Artery. Yeah, I feel yeah. sorry for them, but they made a pretty good amount of money off their yeah. debut album. Oh yeah, yeah, I haven't I haven't heard of them in a sec. I, they I were have like, their CDs. So it's. Are they still like? Do they live in? Russia? Yeah, they live in Russia. That's so cool. It's not Moscow, luckily. I'm yeah. tired of seeing bands that are like, we're from the capital of this place. It's like, oh, well, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> it's good seeing... Because a lot of small towns have a great amount of potential with their bands. Yeah. Amen. What's it like? I don't know... I don't know if you caught them in time to go around and do tours or go around and have fans be like, oh my god, I love that band. Have I what? What was the question? Um, have you had any like fan experiences or tour experiences where they're like, you're in this band. I love them, and now I'm going to follow you around and ask you a whole lot of questions. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, we definitely get like the really passionate fans and, which I think is so funny it's like they're like whoa random lady who just likes to scream here and there and they're like ah and it's it's cool it's really nice it's, it's nice to see the, to see the love um, and now if, I can't think of anything where it's been like whoa no let me think back yeah, just nothing but good experiences, honestly. Like, I feel like they offer, like, to take us to dinner. And um, just really, it's, it's awesome. It's it's truly mind-blowing that people are like, whoa, you're going to divide. And we're just like, yeah. So, definitely Can't don't. Pass up that free food. Yeah, especially when you're on tour and starving. That is, like, life. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen some of the videos from that. Yeah, it's great. Especially starting out in a band and going on your first tour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially going on your first tour and there's a bunch of chicks you've never toured before. And oh, touring is fun, though. So I'm a big, big fan of touring. Walk onto the bus and be like, "Hi, my name's my, my name's Janelle." Yeah, 
Oh, man. I would love to have a tour bus. We've only done van tours, but tour buses sound luxury compared. Van tours sound horrendous. They're so hard, <laughs> especially when you end up sick because touring, everybody gets sick at one point and it's just, it's not very fun to get sick and feel sick in a van. What's your dream band to tour with? Oh, um, wow. No, I have like a lot. I would say like. It could be any genre. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, I guess the top would be like My Chemical Romance, but like back in the day when they were like the Black Parade, that would have been like phenomenal to have been a part of. And then um, I would love to tour with the used, like Burt McCracken is a big reason why I'm even a screamer to begin with. So that would be phenomenal. Um, I would really, I would love to tour with Pierce the Veil because they have a special place in my heart. And I think it'd be so much fun. Um, Horizon would be my Lena as well. Yeah, that would be straight wild if <laughs> we'd ever tour with Bring Me the Horizon. And then, uh, I mean, if we're going to do different genres, I think it would be utterly insane to tour with Lady Gaga because she's like the only pop star I like. Tour with Billie Eilish and have her help sing the cover of her own song. <laughs> She'd be like, yo, I could see her. Honestly, I could see her get down at the end. She would love the breakdown. I think she, I th I could see her fuck with it. Oh, she's a big rock fan. <laughs> yeah, I think she'd, I think she'd like her cover if she ever heard it. <laughs> hey, yo, Billy girl, you need like a opener? <laughs> the most Did I can do is... Up? The most I can do is take a clip out of this where you say you want to tour with Pierce the Veil and have a bunch of people on TikTok tag. How do you say Please. his name? Kellen? Kellen? Uh, Kellen Quinn? That's sleeping with sirens. Well, he can get a hold of the <laughs> other ones. I mean, he did a song. This is true. They did do a song. It'd be like mutual They seem time. pretty tight. <laughs> I'm like, uh, please, Vic. Forward if I ever... If I ever actually got a band off the ground, I would say I would want to tour with Bring Me the Horizon, Asking Alexandria, ACDC Before They Die, <laughs> Ozzy right? Before He Dies. Yeah. How old? Um, that that oh, poor man's Machine health. Machine Gun Kelly. I would like to tour with him. I've not heard a lot of his music. The last time I heard any song by him, it was while he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Eminem. See, <laughs> that, was, that didn't go well. That was that was crazy. That whole stuff. But um, he just dropped a like pop punk album with Travis Barker, and I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna front. Not the biggest pop punk fan. I always found like, like the voices kind of like no offense to anybody who loves pop punk. It's not just my opinion. I just find like the voice is real whiny and annoying, which is dumb because like I like a lot of other bands with high pitched voices. But uh, but Machine Gun Kelly, his new album, dude, I highly recommend it if you're like like pop punk or even if you don't, because like I don't, and I love that album. I've been listening to it nonstop. The last pop punk band I really really got into is one that I found on TikTok. <laughs> oh. I cannot, for the life of me, remember their name. But there's a really good one called Magnolia Park, and they do punk rock. Hell yeah. I love that, Mike. How did you find them? Were they just, like, doing a dance or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, they put, like, a clip of their music video up on TikTok. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, That's it wasn't cool. bad. Yeah. I will say, though, I really, really wanted to go to My Chemical Romance's reunion shows, but the Age. tickets, the tickets were not worth paying for. No, this would be my first time having to pay for My Chemical Romance tickets. The last time I was a child or a teenager when I saw them, and I'm not about to spend like $200. Like, geez, man, that this was no, crazy. This is no offense. No offense to them, them at all. They're, yeah, they're very talented. All. I'm waiting on that. 
All right, I'm waiting on that music. Yeah. If ACDC can release a new album, Nine Chemical Romance can release a new album. This is true. This is true. I would love a new MCR album. I would love Dad Gerard to be singing about being a dad now. And, yeah, I didn't know he was like, a dad. Cute. Like, so weird to see. Mm-hmm. He has like, a, oh my gosh, she's probably like nine or ten now. I think he's older. I have no idea what she looks like, but her name is Bandit Way. Her name is Bandit. Bandit. This is the way. (laughs) This is the way of the ways. But uh, yeah, she's like nine or ten. I don't know what she looks like, but kept her on the DL. He keeps his whole life on the down low. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Like since day one. Like, do we really know who Gerard Way is? I don't know. We we can see we could be sending money to a cult and not know it. Right? Like what does he do other than like write comic books and let's not let's not throw let's not throw Umbrella Academy into the dirt. Ah no, that's his baby. I am uh, I'm so proud of him as an artist, dude. He. He finally lived his dream life. He was a rock star and a comic book maker. Like, that's all he ever wanted. And rehab. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He hit rehab, too. <laughs> yeah. He, well, at least he got sober, though. So that's cool. That is true. He is a phenomenal man. But I've noticed uh, getting older, all of my bands, most of them have either ended up in rehab or had the smack in their life by mother nature yeah dude it's so easy to fall into just partying non-stop when when you're on tour and all those bands that have had to need to get help like we're like on the road majority of the year so posty needs some help oh god especially when you're sponsored by bud light <sighs> i bet he could needs ble- i bet he believes rehab. it probably like so much drinking of the of the Bud Light happens with him. Like, ugh. He has so much talent. We can't let him die. Nah, he'll be fine. He's just living his little rock star life. Eventually, they grow out of it. Yeah. Eventually. But like, uh, he started off in a metal band, but mm-hmm. his band he tried out. His band only did. Uh, his original band only did Alice asking Alexandria covers and then he tried out for an actual band and his string broke. Wow. <laughs> you know, he, I heard he tried out for from the Empire. Yeah, that's the who it was. He said no because he didn't have image. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he I broke wouldn't... a string during. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to work for Crown the Empire either. Oh show. yeah, Post Malone is three times as big. Oh yeah. Now they always talk about how like Post Malone tried out for Crown the Empire, and I'm like, look at him now. That could have been right. Like that could have been in your band, bro. But he's got image now. Um, That's- Skrillex. The EDM artist Skrillex was in, uh, I think it was from first to last. He did a whole album with them when he was 15. Yeah. Oh, I love Wow. And then he just, boop, became Skrillex. It's just like, so good. imagine like being in a band, like you're in Crown, you're in Conquer Divide right now. Imagine mm-hmm. being there and then one of the members leaves for their solo stuff and then they just like shoot up way above where you're at just like, <laughs> I'm proud what? of you I... but fuck you at the same time <laughs> how did you do that where, where was that where do you where was that nah, that's crazy yeah Which I can imagine what some first class feels like today's Thursday right mm-hmm. tomorrow attack attack comes back Oh, that is true. That is iconic. That's way more better than our our, our return. <laughs> They're so well, legendary. 
Well, I mean, it's with uh, it's Franz bringing them back, though. What do you mean? It's not it's not Caleb or any of the older vocalists. It's Franz. Yeah. I mean, Franz is great, but Wait, he's gonna front it. He's not gonna front. It. I think he's just well, kidding. He's, he's yeah, but they're he's... releasing something. That part's true. Well, Yep, that is gonna be true. I wonder what it's gonna sound like. I'm so curious. Like, what? Wow. Like, but we're talking about a guy that those made like an entire song actually, about pizza. It's like, <laughs> true. This is true. So this is gonna be interesting tomorrow. Wow, I didn't realize they were doing so soon. That's so cool. I mean, I, I'm still more interested in the Conquer Divide. Come back because the only thing I have downloaded from Attack Attacks everything that Caleb did on the front. Yeah, I I like how Caleb was like y'all can reunite. I'm I'm good. I'm Bear Beartooth has their own I'm little with my band Beartooth. I think oh my Beartooth god, they fits really do. Better. Yeah, yeah. We actually played with Bear Tooth at a South by Southwest. Um, what was that like? <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 uh, they played like way after I did, obviously, like because you know, we were baby band, so we were like one of the first ones on. So by the time that they played, I just had like I had just turned twenty one that like two months prior, so I was wasted by the time. Uh, <laughs> They they uh got on stage and I just remember moshing and I don't mosh I just I'm five foot one so I just don't mosh and uh, I moshed that day because a little baby I, mosh a little baby mosh I was just like oh my god it's bear tooth I played South by Southwest because I'm from Austin Texas and that's like goals and I was just like and I'm 21 and I'm drunk and so I just mosh so that's all I remember from Bear Tooth's set is just like. Ah! That was it. I think they played well. I know they played like a, all the songs I liked, but phenomenal, phenomenal. I think the last, let's see, the last time I got anywhere near something like this, I was talking to uh, the lead singer of Asking Alexandria. I was talking to his wife on Twitter because he doesn't respond to people, but his wife does. And I almost had the chance to take my original music on the very first CD I made. And I was like, I'm going to go see them in August. I'm going to hand them this, and I'm going to be happy. And then it didn't happen. Ah, <laughs> oh, because COVID. Yeah, they were like, everything is plans. shut down. I, yep. was like, I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, the year of 2020, year of doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> For everybody. Ugh. The only thing I do now is go to Walmart, go to work, go home, go to sleep. Yep, same. Just work. And it's not even like the job that I normally do. Uh, yeah. It's not. What a lame year. We all had such high hopes. I think it's hilarious that we kind of all. At least ourselves. you guys can work on music. I mean, that's one thing. Yeah. That is definitely a plus that we we can finally like sit down and plan instead of being like, okay, well, got to get on the road now. It's like, no, we can like sit and be like, okay, well, we can plan this, blah, 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 instead of trying to get on the road and then we're like planless. Planless. Ever. Planless. Yes. I I was planless when I started writing books. I was just like, I'm just going to do this. Writing books? You write books? I write books. I got a podcast, then I produce music, and I go to work. (laughs) See, that's well-rounded. That's awesome. I mean, if you want, I can send you a free copy that's signed (laughs) whenever I get paid. (laughs) I'm honored. (laughs) For sure. Uh, I write horror and I write fantasy. Oh, that's cool. I love horror. I actually wrote the last chapter of my horror book to chemicals. 
Oh, very cool. <laughs> I was like, this works. This works. It's got me in the vibe. Good. Cool. But I definitely want to give that a read. I love me get some good horror. You got any uh, last minute plugs you want to put in on the podcast to get people excited? Uh, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, I will say that we might, may or may quite possibly be filming another music video at the end of this year. So uh, just like keep ahead, uh, keep some focus on our social medias because uh, there will be more info on that. And also I have a YouTube channel where I do covers and good stuff in the meantime. And uh, subscribe. And uh, Conquer Divide has a channel as well where we will be posting said music video and where we're also posting more like YouTube YouTuber content like like, like we did like a Southern Slang <laughs> Yeehaw and then you know we read mean comments so that's a it's a cool place to get your Conquer Divide feel like, is it just music. Uh, we're trying to revive and start our TikTok and like make that a thing so go follow our TikTok Instagram, Twitter, and follow mine. It's Janelle Divides on Instagram. Wow. Done. 